Welcome back. Today we're going to look at solving systems of equations with three variables. So we might have the variables x, y, and z. Now as we've seen in the past, if we have two variables, we must have two unique independent equations in order to solve. And our solution is an ordered pair. Well, if we have three variables, then we need three unique independent equations and not variables. We need three unique independent equations to solve. And our solution won't be an ordered pair, but because we have three things, it will be an ordered triple. So here's an example of a system of equations in three variables. So thus we have three equations. And let's go through that process. Let's take a look at the process here. Knowing the elimination method is going to be very helpful for this particular process. We'll use the elimination method to eliminate one variable from any of the two equations or from two of the three equations. Okay? We'll usually use the first and second equations. And the result, once we eliminate one of the variables will be one equation in two variables. And we'll kind of tuck that particular equation aside. We're going to use that in a few minutes. Then we'll use the elimination again. We'll use that method again to eliminate the same variable from the other two equations. Okay, so we have to eliminate the same variable in step one and in step two but we have to use different equations. Usually we'll use like the second and third equations then. You could use the first and third, but we'll usually use the second and third. Some of it will depend on the numbers. And again, the result will be a second equation in two variables, but those two variables, good news, will be the same two variables as we had in number one. So now we have two new equations, but both of those are only in two variables. And if we're good at the elimination method, we'll use these two resulting equations and we will solve those for one of the two variables, just like we've done using substitution or elimination, usually elimination. And then we will again use those two equations to find the second variable. So after step three, you will have found, or after step four, you will have found two of the variables. And then finally, we'll substitute our two known variables into any one of the three original equations that will determine the third and final variable. And we'll have an ordered triple. So let's give this a try. I've already got some information here. Our three equations, x plus y plus z equals 2, x minus y plus 2z equals 2, and negative x plus 2y minus z equals 1. Now, we could drop out the y's right away, but when I looked at all three, I noticed that we had a coefficient of 1 on all of the x's. So I decided to drop out the x's of the first two equations by subtracting. And we would do that, I'll rewrite those equations, x plus y plus z equals 2. And now we will subtract x minus y plus 2z equals 2. So we're going to subtract that entire second equation. I'm going to go ahead and rewrite the first one. That becomes x plus y plus z equals 2. And then when I subtract the second one, I get negative x plus y minus 2z equals negative 2. And I will go ahead and add those two equations. So x and negative x will drop out. I'll get 0x. y plus y will give us 2y, 
and positive z minus 2z, well, that will give us minus z equals 0. So there's one of my equations that I'm going to solve. So we've done step one. Step two, now we're going to drop out, we have to drop out the same variable, but we have to use two new equations. So we'll drop out the x again, because we dropped out the x here, and solve these two equations. Well, when we drop out the x here, okay, x plus negative x, that's 0x, negative y plus 2y, we get a result of y, and positive 2z minus z is a positive z, so we have y plus z equals, and we're adding these two, 2 plus 1 is 3. So we get y plus z equals 3. And here are two new equations, but with two variables. So y plus z equals 3. So this becomes our new system to solve. And that will give us two of our three variables. And as you can see, that's pretty straightforward. I've got equal and opposite coefficients on the z's. So let's go ahead and just add those together. And we get 3y equals 3. So we know y equals 1. And then we can solve this for z just like we did in previous sections. So if y is 1, we know 1 plus z equals 3. Subtract 1 from both sides, and we get z equals 2. We found two of our three variables. Our ordered triple is going to be something 1, 2, because we have our y and z. Well, since we have our y and z, let's go back and see where we want to substitute those values in. And x plus y plus z equals 2 seems to be the easiest place. So we want to find x, but we have y. y is 1. x plus 1 plus z is 2 equals 2. So x plus 3 equals 2. Subtract 3 from both sides. You can probably eyeball the answer here. And x is negative 1. So we have our x, negative 1, our y is 1, and our z is 2. We have solved our system of three equations for all three variables. So we will see you in class.